Before tutorial begins, kindly click on subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime I release new videos. Don't forget to click on the bell button beside it so that you will always be notified. Now in this tutorial, I want to check how you can convert your website into an Android app using Samara Bot. Now, if you have the Samara before, click open it or install it from Play Store. Now after this, you go to website to Android app. Good. Now in this place, I will let you know that it's, only, it's not only Samara website you can convert, you can convert any website link. Now to get started, you type 1. Now it requests for secret code which I don't have. So to get secret code is very easy. So let me start again. So if I type anything, you know, the secret code, I don't have the secret code. My stem that incorrect. So to get secret code, you need to type two. You can see two here. Type two. Now you click on this link to get your secret code, and it will be delivered into your email address. All right. Now, how many websites do you want to convert? I want to convert only one. Now, your website, uh, your email address, and your phone number. Then you click on proceed. Now, by doing this, you receive uh, an email. So let me just try it here. So on that phone number, I just typed it. This is not this is not needed. It's only my email address that is needed. So when you click on proceed, so you receive a secret code of your email. Now I have my secret code with me. So let me just enter it. Now after that, press enter. Sorry, incorrect command. Okay, so type one to convert websites. Now please enter your secret code, which is this secret code I want to use. So let me type another one. Enter. Good. So now what's my website URL? So let's assume your website URL is this. Uh, let me go to my browser. This is my uh, website. Let me use service.com slash demo. Let us assume this is my website. Okay, so copy the link. After you've done that, open Samurai Bot, paste the link there. That's control V. Sorry. So we need to copy the link again. So copy. Paste. All right, now press enter. You can see your website is ready to be converted. Click here to start conversion. So let me click on this place. Good, what will be my app title? Let me just put demo website. What about my valid email address? So let me use this. My icon, so let me select icon. Browse. Let me use this. Now, if you have banner unit and the other unit, if you have it, which is a uh, Google Ad Mob, fine, you can include them. So when you include the unit, uh, Google will display the advert on your app. So you know you are converting your website to app. Good. So it is an app. Now Google will start displaying their adverts on your app. So which means you can earn, you can make money through that. Now, how we go about that? How will you get banner unit? You can see it's optional. So it's optional. If you don't want to display adverts in your app, you can leave it blank. Now in this place, add you add minute. That means how frequently do you want to display in ad on your app? So if it is banner, banner you don't have, you don't need to set time for this banner. It's only this unit. In this tier unit, there's only this one you need to set minute because it is the kind of ad that would display on your app and it cover the whole app the screen but this one will just come to the bottom of your app so it is this one you are setting time for so you may choose like five minutes that means after five five minutes the uh, ad will be displaying has full screen ad will be displaying so it's optional 
and we don't provide it, you don't provide, you don't provide, you can click on submit. So it's optional. But if you want to provide them so that Adrive uh, will be displaying on your app, they will be paying you when you reach like when you reach like hundred dollar. So here we go. You can go to. Uh, let me open your tab. So let's go to admob.google.com. Admob.google.com. Now in this place you register. After registering, I have the account before. So let me quickly log in. Now I've just I've just registered. So let me just select the currency I want. Uh, it is Nigeria dollar, so you can select it. So try to provide correct details. So after that, I've read and agreed. So your country. So let me choose country. So you choose any of your country. So after that, scroll down. I've read this and create add more. Now after your admin account is created, so just you need to wait until your account is approved. So that means you receive email when your account is approved. That is when ads will start showing on your app. But before that, you can see you can go to payment to put in your account details and other thing. But I, I'm going straight to unit so that I can get the unit and add it to my app without wasting any time. So let us open our app again. So the place I'm filling my form, where is it? So this place. Now let us try to complete this add unit by going to add mob. Is add mob? Then you click on apps. So you need to wait. Okay, so I don't have anything. Let me start add your first app. So click on it. Uh, so we need to zoom it so that you can see it clearly. Okay, let me use a mouse to explain it. On that display, we have platform. So which type of platform, Android or iOS? So we choose Android. After that, now let's say, is the app linked on a supported app store? So no, you have not uploaded the app, app store. So just choose no, then continue. Now after that, what is, what is the app name? So let me just put demo website or demo app, any name, this doesn't mean. Okay, now after that, you can see there is something here, create ad unit. Look, let me click on create ad unit. Now we have banner, we have instantial ad. So this is two. The first is banner, the second is instantial ad, which is which is required in this place. Which is required on our, uh, where we are inputting the app details. Now, I will explain how you can do this one. So the same process you apply on this. So let me go for banner so click on started now after that what's the name just any name let me just call it demo banner unit after that create unit now it is created the first we have a one two three now the, is the first id you are copying so you copy the first id now the first id here copy it i'm unable to copy sorry so come to this place now paste it here now the way you created that banner unit is the same way you created this and uh, this interstate add unit as well so you will also create it and copy the uh, the code there so after that you click on the add minute i'm unable to copy it also, that's why i can't provide the details so if we provide details ads will start showing on your app after like 24 hours it's been not even up to that if they approve your account on time. So when you are done, you click on submit. Now you can see your app is in processing. So 
in less than two hours you have finished conversing converting and then you will receive it either via email or in this place now when i refreshed you can see my app is ready now before that uh, the about the banner unit i explained last time so this is how the banner unit uh, unit looks like it looks exactly like this you must see ca i think app i think pub then the another numbers in front so these are the banner unit and the other unit looks exactly like now you click on download button to download your app you can see it download so we need to wait until it is downloaded good now let me install it install good open it good you can see my app is ready so that means this is the menu of my website see we have this so it's not in form of app okay now assuming you added that banner so advert will be displaying on the at the bottom here and if you added the second advert so it will full the screen it's because i was unable to copy the ad unit everything will work perfectly don't worry and after that let me check my app this is the app i just you can see demo website so this is the app i just installed so if i click here you can see it opens now let me close this app and open it again see so this is the app let me just open it you can see so everything works perfectly now that's a simple way to convert website into android app using several but if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching